Hi everyone, my name is Marla. I'm a book lady, a homeschool mom, and a certified paralegal. And today I wanted to talk about um, the First Amendment, what's embodied in the Bill of in our rights, on our God-given rights um, from government, freedom from government, is um, this. So the first 10 amendments are the Bill of Rights and were ratified December 15, 1791. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom the freedom of speech or of press or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievance the first sentence says that government shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. Well, guess what? It's being violated as we speak with COVID. That right there, government is prohibiting the free exercise of religion to, to gather in church and worship as they please. They are limiting the number of people that can go and worship in a church. Now that right there is a, is a violation. Many ordinances around the country, especially in Denver, are being made to prohibit the free exercise thereof of religion. So I'm going to read a little bit briefly from the Establishment of Religion um, Section A of my book um, on con law. Um, and the first, uh, I'm just going to read the first paragraph, is in, in, the constitu to, in the Constitution, the way the court has been interpreting and applying the Establishment Clause, um, it's been divided into three rival interpretive uh, principles and tests for the separation of government from religion. So the first test is strict separation, um, which requires state neutrality and a, with a secular secular purpose for legislation, but may permit some benefit or indirect support for religion. The second is strict neutrality, which requires not merely a secular purpose for legislation, but bars all laws that either aid or hinder religion and alternatively. Three, an accommodationist approach, while maintaining that laws must have a secular purpose, allows for governmental accommodation of religion in ways that further religious freedom without endorsing a particular religion. So, clearly, our founding fathers did not mean to prevent government from giving money to churches. However, in recent years, from 1962, from 1942 and on, um, government has been chipping away at our right and freedom to practice our religion. Um, so instead of it being called the establishment of religion, the disestablishment of religion is what um, is is what was being uh, chipped away at. Um, and the f the first and most important uh, case that ever uh, happened was in. Everson versus Board of Education of Ewing Township, 1947. This case, the Vincent Court embraced the theory and wrote Jefferson's metaphor of wall of separation into constitutional law. However, the justices were split five to four because of the majority. De the majority decided to construe the New Jersey's program of reimbursing parents for the cost of busing children to private schools, including parochial schools, as a subsidy to parents, not churches. So one of the biggest things that I see with this pandemic is that our our First Amendment right is being uh, chipped away um, with freedom of speech online, with uh, freedom to worship, um, with freedom to assemble um, peacefully. Um, our rights are being chipped away and 
we we're seeing disunity instead of unity um and it's really scary times and uh, i don't blame you if you decide to not travel uh for the holidays <laughs> um i don't blame you really um it's kind of scary after the elections um but please go vote and um vote to uphold the constitution vote for candidates that uphold the constitution um for candidates that are true to us the people not to government